hey guys good morning welcome to another vlog you're welcome to my channel my name is Adeze if you don't know who I am so you guys I don't know how people wake up in the morning and get dressed and have motivation to be doing so many things like I've lost motivation <laughs> I've lost motivation for so many things in fact any day I wake up and have my bath and get out of my nightwear just on that day I've achieved so much I feel like the biggest achiever that day it's funny how this social distancing thing is affecting all of us in different ways some people is making them more productive other people is making them lazier some people you know they are bored because they don't have much to do while some people people like me I have a lot to do because now my kids are now at home with me 247 unlike when they used to go to school and I'll have those um, few hours to really quickly do some things before they come back now they're with me 247 so anyway yeah but I've been trying to upload a video since morning using my in fact I tried uploading a video since last night using spec channels spec channels if people are hearing me you are is you I'm talking to so in this spec channel I used their spec channel to try and upload the video yesterday since 9 p.m. I woke up this morning it was 7% 7% for or more than how many hours overnight i said okay let me just i mean it's expected let me just move to my you know mobile data since morning i've been using mobile data since i think past six since since morning past six till now now it's almost 11 o'clock the video is still at 51 percent you know what that <laughs> i've just decided not to even think about it let me go and do other things with my life so today i am going to the post office i'm going there to get some things they called me yesterday that i have things i post office i don't know what it is i think it's something my husband ordered anyway so let me just go there and go and pick it so i use that opportunity to carry my children out as always i just use something <laughs> i use sometimes an opportunity to carry them out every day so that they will not you know they will not stress me i don't want anybody to stress me <laughs> they try to stress me sometimes but i just tell, i just tell myself that you know what Except I allow them, it's only when I allow them stress me that it really, really stress me. I just have to find a way around it. So, taking them out is one of the ways I use to calm them down and to just, you know, do other things outside the house. So, I'm going to the post office. I'm definitely going to carry you guys along. <laughs> Except I look at myself in the viewfinder. I look like all oh, this Sister Mary. All oh, this Akanchawa. Yeah, oh. <laughs> I look like jesus i look like them like sister mary of god yes i am a child of god i am much naked one of of potakos anyway so yeah i'll take you guys along you guys come and say hi to my kids i wanted to ask you guys if you guys know any better you know data no no one is better all of them are just witches in their own in their own special way all of them all none is better so if i say oh, give me recommendations i'm only going to waste my money trying other things because as far as i'm concerned none is better they're all, all of them are just, they just used to have days of, of doing their own skoi skoi. Let's do Hey, Eva. Eva the dresser. Eva that wake up and be asking for, for a new dress. Eva, say, Cora, say hi to my vlog. Hi. Say hi. Hi. Eva, look at me. Say hi. Oh, yeah, I'm about to say hi. <laughs> See, I'm about to say hi. Eva did not say anything. Eva did not say hi. Eva say hi. Hi. I want to say hi. Hi. Say hi, guys. Hi, guys. Horn. Eva, the car pressed the horn. Yes. No, I didn't. But Eva said you did. I did. I didn't press the horn. Eva, who pressed the horn? Eh? Not and I don't know who, 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 who their seat belts, put their seat belts, put nobody. their seat belts. Come on, go to your seat. You say nobody did, but I heard the horn. It's so not me. So who did it? Eva. 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 Nobody. Eva, nobody did it. Eva. Mm -hmm. Who pressed it's, the horn? It's cool. Not <laughs> me. Whatever says you. I didn't press this horn and just spin the wheel. I oh, you're confessing. You're confessing what you did. <laughs> mm. You press the horn and you spin the wheel. No, I didn't do that. Are you lying? What did I say about telling lies? Uh, I didn't do anything. 
They are still lying. It's still not me. Okay. I believe you. I should go and check the camera. Mm -mm. I should check the camera. Go and sit down your seat. expecting something from a company that sent me something since almost two months now i've not gotten it i'm sure in their mind they're thinking that uh, they're wondering what's going on that's money that is, 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 is wasted money that has not come you guys i left my children in the parlor i want to sleep <laughs> i want to sleep a little bit because in the night i didn't really sleep because i was working on something that reminds me i've not really talked to you guys about our master class me and Nello are going to be having a master class soon <laughs> this soon is actually like very soon we already, we already have a date it's going to be holding on may 3rd it's a sunday by 4 p.m we're going to be having a master class okay you guys we've worked so hard on this the, in fact we've been working so hard on this for almost three months you know initially our plan was to have a physical master class you know and other activities and then this road now happened you know which to me is actually a blessing in disguise because back then we weren't even considering doing an online master class class soon we weren't considering the online version soon but because of what happened you know we were forced to go back to the drawing board and change some things and then we came out with the online master class not just the technical aspects we're also going to be talking about you know the practical aspect of this whole thing you know tips and tricks that work for us and um yeah basically everything we know we're going to download it for you guys um that's what i was working on last night it's like <laughs> you guys to be honest I feel like me and Nelo have actually, we've actually taken more than we can chew, you know. Because you guys remember that we we all we all have kids. She has three kids. I have two kids. Um, she has her mother-in-law around. Uh, me, I'm just with Amarachi, but we are equally very very busy. So we have to work sometimes at night just to get things done. Uh, sometimes during the day, you know, we just have to pay attention to. Um, our families and also do our own YouTube channel. So yeah, it's actually a lot But we're excited. This is something that we do without even being paid for it. It's something that we do on, an, on a normal day We try to help other people's channels to grow. So it's not some, it's not something that that we don't like doing So be ready to work hard because one thing if I let me not talk about myself anyway One thing I know about Nelo is that she works freaking hard. Okay. In fact, <laughs> she works so hard like you guys know she has a new baby okay she has a new baby she has other kids she has other things she's doing so she works really hard you know okay so sometimes when you see people's success on this platform yes sometimes it's luck sometimes it's this but majority of it is actually serious hard work okay so that's one advice i'm going to give anybody who is coming for that master class come ready to do to work to work really hard okay we must we must make this money this 2020 we must anything that this year wants to throw at us it should, it should throw at us but all we know is that we must make this money we must survive this year we must come out of this year you know really happy yeah you guys i'm actually hungry but i don't want to go to that parlor i don't want to leave my room like my kids are just <laughs> they're lovely kids though but it's as if i have two newborns like is that bad as if i have two newborns like cora is not like a newborn baby ever is not like a new new in fact cora's one is that sometimes she gets really whiny and crying and you know this one that one Eva zone is Eva wants everything to go her way. She wants to wear my dress. She wants to wear Cora's dress. She wants to wear anything. Just just wants to be wearing dresses up and down. When it's time to sleep, after we finish um, getting them ready for bed, the next thing is Eva has gone to wear one dress, like dress proper dress. I'm not talking about gown or I mean proper dress. Eva gonna wear proper dress that she wants to go to bed. I'm like, sister, how, how's that gonna work? Okay. So yeah, I want to get. Let me find what to eat and then I'll be right back. See you. Eva, Eva, why did you do that? Why are you pouring water everywhere? Let me see your body. Your dress is wet. Oh yeah, go to your naughty corner. 
I told you not to go to the water. Oh yeah, go to the naughty corner. Oh dear. Face the wall. No, you are, I'm punishing you for pouring water in my living room. So face the wall. Mom, I feel better. Eh? Yeah? I, I feel better. You feel better? Yes. No, no. <laughs> About you feeling better. <laughs> it means I don't feel better. Face the wall. The door is better. Mm, the door is better, but face the wall. Did you hear what I said? Stop watching TV. Eva. Eh? Yeah? You say what? Tell me sorry. What is going on? What is going on is that you're supposed to be at your naughty corner. Eva. She doesn't start to go. Go back to your naughty corner. Good. I, yes. Are you ready to apologize? Do you want to say sorry? Sure, mommy. I need to put on a drink. Face me. Huh? Face me. Now say it very loud and clear. And me too. Cora. Shout it very well. Very loud and clear. Say start from sorry. Shout it sorry, mommy. Uh -huh. Sure, mommy. Shout it loud. Good, you won't do it again. Everybody has heard. She says she will not do it again. Are you gonna remove your dress? It's okay, okay? Cora, did you wash your hands? Yes. Okay. Eva is okay. Oh yeah, take and dry your hands. Take what? I... Mommy, how about towel? Use this one, use this one. Hmm? It's a stew tear. Mm, it's a tear, but just use it. Use it. Don't rub it too much. Just use it to dry your hands, Cora. Mm -hmm. See, Eva is drying her hands. And Good job, too. Eva. I need to also dry my hands. Okay. I can't climb. I can't still climb. <laughs> Eva, climb. Finish. Cora says she cannot climb. Eva, Spider Woman. See the way she climbed fast, fast. Spider girl. Spider. I told to train. We can't ever teach you. Eva. Eva. Nancy. 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 Your presentation, do your presentation. See me now, mommy. Can you make me? My presentation is. See me, mommy. Pretty. It's for me, mommy. Pretty. In school, in school, not, not in home. All in school, we did. We did yesterday. No presentation school. My my presentation school is Nigeria means presentation school. <laughs> Yo. Wait, wait, wait. What's the problem? It's no problem. Mm. Wait, see. Wait. <gasps> what? What is the problem? No! Break, break. No! Mm. Mm. Ah. Mm, Everybody wants egg. Uh-uh. I want to buy. Mm-hmm. Is the bread not supposed to go with the egg? And he gave our bread back. 
Parle plus de moi. Tu vas dire à la presse. Did you buy it? Test it. There's no pepper on it. Mommy. It's your egg first. I want egg. You want egg? Closer, your hair is so beautiful. No, your hair is not beautiful. Hmm? Eh? Um, um, mommy, I'm not you don't want to give me ribbon and thread before Indomie. You say what? Um, uh, I'm not you don't want to give me Indomie. Um, I'm not you don't want to give me ribbon and before Indomie. Why do you want ribbon? If you see it in Domi, can't you drink water? Hmm. That's that's your Ribena. Ava, I just finished making Ava's hair. I just finished washing her hair and packing it in a pineapple. Ava, let's see your pineapple hair. I understand. Change your style. Another one. <laughs> Another one. Eh? Good night. Another one, eh? Change your star, eh? Another one, eh? Another one, eh? <laughs> we need to wash your hair, Cora. Eva, change your star, eh? Another one, eh? Another one. <laughs> What's your name? Eva. 
Ava, how old are you? Ava, she's two. How old are you? Yeah, yeah. Come and do your Mommy. video. Come and introduce yourself. Say hello, guys. Mommy, let me ask her how old she is. Her birthday was yesterday. Okay, what is the one? I want to tell Eva her birthday was yesterday. Yesterday? Yes. Well, her birthday wasn't yesterday. It's your turn to lose your yeah. hair. Mommy. <laughs> Eva is cooking, though. Eva, you're plucking all my Jesu. <laughs> Look at this child. She even has flour in her hair. Eh? I I did it. You put flour in her hair. Yes. I really don't like you playing with flowers because I don't know whether you're allergic or not. Yes. Eva, she packed one, one cup of a big plate full of flowers for your baby. Yeah. Okay, go and give your baby. There's something that I saw on Facebook that it has been burning me in my chest to talk about. If I don't talk about this thing, I'm not sure. I'm not sure I'll be alright. <laughs> I'm not sure I'll feel alright. So I won't talk about this thing. And it's about Nigerian women. And I say Nigerian women because for now, they're the ones that I know of that are really obsessed with this, okay? And that is obsession with children's genitals, okay? Yes, children's private parts. I don't know why Nigerian mothers, especially, are obsessed with it. Now let me explain. I saw a, um, I saw a post on Facebook where someone was saying that her eight-year-old is already developing breasts and she's worried. That what should she do about it? First of all, why are you worried? Like, did the child go and buy it somewhere? Is it not? Na is it not nature? Is she not naturally developing these things? Don't we know? I hope you guys can hear me clearly because here is noisy, but I just wanted to stay outside and enjoy the breeze, okay? Don't we know that children these days develop earlier than, you know, our ancestors used to, our mothers, our grandmothers, our great-grandmothers, children these days develop earlier, okay? So, and even if they don't, even if it's just that your child is different, why is it making you worried? Like, okay, what if your child starts her period? Are you going to start getting worried about putting it back or trying to, you know, do something about it? Anyway, Let's just say the worry was legit. Let's just say the worry is, um, I mean, is allowed to be worried about your child. Now, what really pained me was the comments I was seeing under that lady's question, okay? A lot of people were saying that she should take head of broom. You know this broom we used to sweep the ground? That big bunch of broom. And that she should take the head of broom and hit the girl's breast until they will go back. This comment I'm telling you about, I saw it, um, I think it was yesterday or two days ago that I saw this uh, comment, okay? This is not 1820s, this is not 1752, this is not 1600s. In 2020, somebody is saying that you should take broom and hit your child's breast until they go back. I was just like, what, what kind of talk is this? Okay, so your child was menstruating, what are you going to do? You will do surgery and push the period back or what? Or, you know, I don't know, close her womb or something. Or you sew her vagina together so that the thing will not blood will not come out. Why are we? Why do we keep doing? Why, why do we keep having all this archaic mentality? And for those people, let me even say this one. For those people who want to come to my comment section or come to my DMs and tell me these are things that work for the people, is to each his own. Stop shoving your opinion down people's throats. See, you are the one shoving your opinion down my throats by coming to my DM to tell me that, okay? Because I have my own channel and I'm free to say what I want to say on my own channel. Go and open your own channel and say what you want to say. I promise you I will not come there and argue with you, okay? But this is my own channel. So anything I say here, it is my opinion. And I always say it. I don't know why I have to give a disclaimer you know for everything and there are some things that are not even my opinion there are some things that are facts that this thing is wrong or there are things that are obvious to everybody who has sense that this thing is wrong okay so you want to talking about genital mutilation we're talking about you know stop you know uh, sexualizing the girl child this is what we're talking about okay so when i was Telling the person that said you should carry uh, 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 some someone even said take the uh, mortar pestle for mother and use it to knead the girl's breast like to go back that her mother did it for her and she's grateful to her mother for it the lady that said um, you should carry that she should carry broom and hit the child's chest if she even stopped there maybe i'll just you know say okay this one is just ignorant and i'll move on she now said that the reason why you should do that is because men will want to go and touch the child's breast that if a child starts developing breast early, men want to go and ch touch the child's breast. That rape is real, low. that's what she was saying. I was like, oh, so because rape is real, I should go and modify my child's body. 
because I can't protect my child, because I cannot be there for my child, I cannot teach my child you know, to stay away from danger, and I cannot keep my child safe from danger, I will go and modify my child's body just for the sake of men, because she exists for men, so that men will not, men will not go and rape her. And I asked the woman that, I hope you know that there are men that rape newborn babies. What did they do wrong? What did they do wrong? Is it the little tiny, you know, chest that they have that the men are going to rape? I hope you know that men actually rape boys. Yes, rape, men rape boys who don't even have breasts at all. I hope you know, you know that men rape toddlers, okay? So will you go and carry uh, uh, this thing, needle and thread, and sew her vagina together so that the men will not be able to, to rape them or, the men, or dress them up as boys? Even dress them up as boys, then the men that rape boys will, will want them too, okay? And, and I hope you know that if you push the breast in because they say oh, that when you do it the person now comes at the right time what is the right time don't men rape 13 year olds 14 year olds 16 years 16 24 old women grand women grandmothers don't men rape them so why should i now start traumatizing my child because somebody wants to go and touch her breast okay why don't you teach your children the right thing okay apart from you protecting your child teach your child start teaching. okay someone said and this one came from a good place she was like don't do anything about it just try and um, you know teach your child sex education and I, I agree with her and I'm even going to go a step further and say do not wait for when your children start reaching puberty or when they start developing you know breasts for you to give them sex education because by that time it might be too late it might be too late as young as Cora is I'm already teaching her about her body about where nobody is allowed to touch okay and I always teach her about protecting herself and protecting her younger sister because I mean right now I cannot really teach Eva okay but I always tell her if anybody touches Eva without where her mommy is not there what do you do she will say I will beat the person I'll kick the person I'll go and tell my mommy and I'll say yes if anybody beats Cora and I and beats Eva and the reason why I also say beat is because sometimes children might see sexual abuse as beating so if they say uncle beats me you don't know what it, what it means that uncle touched me inappropriately so it's still like if uncle touches her if uncle beats her if uncle does anything to her what do you do if auntie does anything it's not just uncle if anybody I always say if anybody goes to you or touches Eva what do you do she will say I'll beat the person I'll hit the person okay so those are the kind of things you should teach your children or just make sure you use um age appropriate language so they will understand what you are saying and so that you don't reveal too much i mean i can't start telling cora now about you do this and do that uh, uh, for sex no i can't teach her that but you have to use age appropriate language and you know age appropriate imagery age appropriate instruction so that they will understand but you ha also have to try your best to protect your child okay so yeah, and I was talking about the obsession with children's genitals because it didn't, it's not only that. I've seen a lot of people who talk about using um, Vaseline to press or rub a child's clit. Okay, I've heard mothers talking about it. If I had a friend who said she did it for her, her daughter, that so that the thing will come together and it's not be too big. And I'm just like, this is an educated person that is telling me this thing, okay? I've even seen it on... Yeah, okay, you guys. Some of the things I come and rant about here, actually things that I see online, I see on Facebook from Ask the Pediatrician, from Ask the Pediatrician, Young Moms, forums like that, okay? That's why I see the most annoying, you know, questions and comments. So, somebody will not say that you should... I've seen a lot of women say that you, should ha you have to use rubble, not rubble, you have to use Vaseline, no. you always have to press it. When, they are, when, you are, when you are batting your child, try and massage it. If not, it will be too big. And I say, really? So, all these people, all people that do not do it, that's how all of them are walking around with big uh, uh, vaginas or what. So, they're trying to tell me, why do we feel like we have to always press and massage? If it's not molding head, we are molding waist. If it's not waist, we are molding uh, this one, hand. You know, and the funny thing is that these same people, I can't people that will see their child with bow leg and say, now so in papa leg be or just leave him, he go straight in. Or, eh, hey, now bow leg, now so in, in, in mama leg be. That's how they will leave the child's bow leg. You see a child that has very bad bow leg, they won't go to hospital to go and find solution for that child. They will leave the child like that until the child grows up and you know, is now walking, uh, suffering actually. They don't find solution for such things. What do we find solution for is things that on their own develop. Most children are born swollen. In fact, more, 90%, in fact, children generally are born swollen. They lose all that initial weight and they start gaining weight again, okay? So is it because that place is swollen they are trying to not massage it so it's not be too big? I didn't do that rubbish on my children and they, they are perfectly normal now. Okay, that's the same reason why you, you still have things like female circumcision because you don't want the child to like sex, you don't want the men to start following the child. Like, <sighs> these are things that we should talk about, these are things we should educate each other about because we are causing more harm than good. Okay, if you are worried about your child's 
um, genitals, okay? I'm not saying you can't be worried about it. Yeah, maybe something is off to you and you feel like it's something that, that, that there's something something needs to be done. Then take your child to the hospital, go and see a pediatrician. Take your child to the hospital, that's what's where you give it to your child. I'm sure there's somebody there that will tell you the right thing to do, okay? Stop massaging and pressing and you know, hitting and doing all that thing just to, to mold your children in a certain way. It's only Nigeria that we're bothered about such things. How do you sit down? You want to sit down? Anyway guys, that's just what I wanted to talk to you guys about. We need to educate ourselves on these things. We need to stop, you know, doing too much. We need to stop doing too much. Most children do not need any of this you're pressing and they don't need any intervention, okay? Most children don't need it. And if you feel like your child needs it, then go to the hospital. Let them tell you the right thing to do. Stop self-medicating. Stop prescribing all kinds of remedies and medication for your children because some of these things might actually be harmful and you don't know there's no way to even check how harmful it is until the future okay so all this rubbing and pressing and heating and this one it just doesn't make sense to me yeah yeah and for anybody who wants to come to my dms and come and tell me see first of all when you come and leave me all those long dms i don't read it i'm sorry when i just read your first paragraph and i understand where you're going to i just <laughs> delete your, your your dm or your mail okay i'm sorry i'm not going to i'm not going to stay there and read a message where you're trying to give me advice and nobody asked you okay if i'm seeing anything on my channel and it's paining you then go to my comment section on my channel and leave your comments there okay let us trash it out on, in my comment section on my channel don't send me any mail don't send me any dm because i'm not going to respond and i'm not even going to read it i'm just going to delete it straight up once i open the dm and find that okay this, the person is, this is where the person is going to i delete it straight up okay or i just reply you okay without even reading it and that's what i do for people okay so if whatever i say in my video offends you so much then just reply there in the comment section let us see there don't come to my dm and come and tell me rubbish because that's when you are trying to shove your own opinion down my throat okay i do not come, come to your dm to come and tell you that you should bath your child only once a day okay i didn't come to your dm to come and tell you that you should breastfeed your child or you should that bathing your child once a day is okay i didn't come to your dm to tell you that i said it on my own channel so if it's paining you go and open your own channel and say your own dear or you reply in my comment section let us talk about it there don't come to my dm please thank you <laughs> anyway guys yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you like this video please give it a thumbs up i really i love the way everywhere is this evening I, I, i'm going to stay here for as long as possible and i'll see you all in my next video bye guys Mwah.